Good day, my name is Father Hayden Augustine, and welcome to our program, The Church and the Poor. For many, uh, the poor are far away and very distant from our lives, and to come and see and to come and experience is a dream. But for many, they have come and they have seen and they have encountered Christ. And I'd like to introduce our present pilgrims to Jamaica, missionaries of the poor, Neela, uh, Simran, and Alexandra. And they have come from a school in Toronto, Markham, Toronto, uh, Michael McGivney High School. Psychologist. Yes, Tell I us am. what that means. Well, as the school psychologist, my role is to work with the team of teachers mm -hmm. and chaplaincy at Father Michael McGivney mm -hmm. to work with students who are in need. Maybe they have mental health needs or mm -hmm. maybe some anxiety, maybe mm -hmm. some sadness, mm -hmm. also some learning needs. Mm -hmm. And so as a member of the team, we work to, with the students to find out what's interfering with their learning okay. so we can help them mm -hmm. to continue their studies mm -hmm. and be successful. Mm -hmm. And this is a full-time job? This is a full-time really? job, yes, mm -hmm. yes. How big is Father Michael McGivney? How many students are Father there? Michael McGivney has approximately, uh, I believe, a thousand oh. to twelve hundred mm. students. That's quite a big school. Yes, it yeah. is. So yes. You'll be very busy. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> right. very much so. So coming down here, well, how does that connect with your job? Well, as part of the team, mm -hmm. I work with chaplaincy and Christina Gomes, who is our chaplaincy. Mm -hmm. She's at, in the audience today. Yes, in, yes, in she's in the, with mm -hmm. us. And she heads the trip and uh, okay. her and her, also her co-teacher, mm -hmm. they started this program okay. at Michael McGivney yes. six years ago. Mm -hmm. And so I had this privilege of an opportunity to join them mm -hmm. because it was not only a personal journey, but it was also a journey for me to get closer as the team and to understand my students and to bring the learnings back with me, okay. to work with my so students. this is your first time to, to This is my first Jamaica, time in Jamaica with the Missions of the, of the Poor. poor. And how has it been so far? You know, it's it's difficult at first blush to put it into words mm -hmm. because it's an absolutely life-changing experience. Mm -hmm. Not just from meeting the brothers and mm -hmm. the way they sustain their energy in terms of working with 
the uh, poor of Jamaica, but what the poor give to you mm. in terms of energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was thinking I was coming here to do some good deed, mm -hmm. and the love and it's learning. It's a total surprise, huh? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. completely caught me right, off guard. Right, I can't believe right. how much they've given to right, me right, yes. in terms mm -hmm. of the love and energy and acceptance, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. complete acceptance yes. of bringing someone into their life. Oh, fire, fire, fire. Seeing people who are so um, needy and broken and are able to laugh and enjoy life. Yes. Wouldn't that uh, influence the way you counsel your Absolutely. students back at Michael McGivney? Absolutely. You know? you know, in terms of finding, as you come, you know, what you were saying earlier about those joyful moments. Mm -hmm. Because w when you see the poor and, and you see the suffering, and we've met children that mm -hmm. did not have we limbs. We went to Bethlehem, mm -hmm. which is the children's orphanage for both boys and girls. Mm -hmm. I mean, we saw a newborn miracle mm -hmm. all the way to older boys. And the way, again... Is the one with no, with no limbs? Yes, miracle is... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, she's missing some... Or right. he's, yeah, missing some limbs, and absolutely. Limbs. And there's also Bob, who's missing limbs. Mm -hmm. And he just has pure joy in his face mm -hmm. and ready to receive mm -hmm. you and, mm -hmm. you know, love you and accept you and yes. welcomes the connection right good, and good. so it makes you realize mm -hmm. that the things that we think are important right are really not that important mm -hmm. it's that it's, it's through again the connecting through mm -hmm. people that's what oh, really excellent. is the importance Very good. Mm -hmm. so you can agree with that yeah because mm -hmm. and I said this is my home and all the day all the center that I've been to mm -hmm. all three of them it's just an amazing experience just getting to know the residents and to just sit down and talk with them because they have so much to share, mm -hmm. especially at Laura's Place and Jake as well, where there mm -hmm. are adults. Mm -hmm. They have much more experience than me, a life experience, mm -hmm. so just mm -hmm. great opportunity to go just talk to them, just learn from them and their, and how their perspective on life and how optimistic they are mm -hmm. and how faithful they are. It definitely has Despite taught me. Despite their... Yeah. Tragedies or mm. difficulties. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that they're mm -hmm. very extremely optimistic. Mm -hmm. What they've gone through through their life, yet to have such a, be yes, again, have an optimistic outlook on life, mm -hmm. but also be really secure in their faith because people tend to, when they undergo difficulties, they're mm -hmm. like, why is God doing this to me? Mm -hmm. Why me, God? Blame why God. me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, blame, mm -hmm. God becomes a scapegoat. Just blame mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. So, but these residents have not been able to blame God and mm -hmm. just become more stronger and more secure in their faith and that was very what grade are you in? I'm also I'm in grade twelve like Lexi. Alexandra, you have a similar experience? So. Yeah, my experience. <laughs> well, this is a second trip. This is so my second trip. What brought you back again? So, um, just the first experience brought me back. I absolutely love the people mm -hmm. here. That was brought... last year? When yes, you that was last year. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and I just love the brothers. They were mm -hmm. such an inspiration to me. Mm -hmm. They uh, took us in and they made us family. We were family mm -hmm. afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, and just interacting with everyone um, at the orphanage and at the centers, it's just the most beautiful experience you can have um, working with these people and not thinking that you would get anything in return. But what you get is love and kindness and jokes and those funny stories that you can bring back home. And I think those are one of the most important things in life is to just live in the moment and just love every moment that you can You mentioned about. jokes, you know, it, our <laughs> motto is joyful service with Christ on the yes. cross. And of course, those two things don't fit together because the cross is supposed to be heavy and mm -hmm. burdensome mm -hmm. and sad. Mm -hmm. But the jokes, I think, is part of the joyful service. Wouldn't you think so? 
Yeah. The, 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 the lightheartedness and Light -hearted. the playfulness. Yeah. yeah. Did you, you find to. that helped release the burden or relieve the burden? Yes. Of, of, of the poverty and the sickness. Like you see these mm -hmm. people and they basically have nothing. Right. They don't have a lot. Back home we would have so much more, more than we can ever ask for. Mm -hmm. And yet these people are so much happier than us. Mm -hmm. They have taken life and they have taken it as a gift while we take it for granted. Mm -hmm. And it's just a beautiful thing that mm -hmm. we take life as a privilege. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And God has given us this gift, mm -hmm. and we have to look at it like it is a gift. It's not like we just have it. The people are looking for meaning. Their minds are just searching for truth. And in the heart of their struggles and worries, they seek out the heart of truth. And in the depths of their souls, they are reaching out And they ask, where shall I go? And the voice deep inside, it's calling out I'm longing to be with God I am who I am I am is calling you I am who I am The lifestyle of the brothers, the prayer life, how does that mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. impact your faith? Mm -hmm. you know? Well, you see them as uh, mutually needing one another. That certainly the prayer is the energy that they get and mm -hmm. the spirituality sustains them in the work that mm -hmm, they do. Mm -hmm. And they, it's, it's the camaraderie that they have mm -hmm. and the support that they give each other. Mm -hmm. They give that to the, the poor that they work with. Mm -hmm. So while they may be doing things like cleaning things, they know all of those residents. It's mm -hmm. astounding to me. And the residents mm -hmm. look to them mm -hmm. and they talk to them. It's and like an extended family. It is absolutely yeah. an extended right. family and right. they right. see it that way. They, mm -hmm. The residents really respond to the brothers, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so in turn, because we are an extension of the brothers, right. the residents are just so open to mm -hmm. loving you and accepting you. And that yeah, is, you, yes, yeah. absolutely. Simran said. Said. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay. the faith is certainly it's it's been an opportunity for me personally to get more deeply in touch with my faith mm -hmm. and to bring it into my life in a way that I make it more of a priority because mm -hmm. I think that we get so busy right. in our lives mm -hmm. and to even have quiet time other than Sunday mm -hmm. we're going to church but to really even take five minutes or ten minutes of your day to be thankful mm -hmm. to the Lord for what's been brought into your life which and, is what we've experienced and that's street. what you see mm -hmm. here absolutely the prayer uh, the, the, the constant prayer the morning prayer I'm, I'm sure you've participated yes in the we've mass. been participating in right. the morning is that mass. too early in the morning Are oh it's it's early. <laughs> Blurry eyed and, mm? Yes, it uh -huh. is early. But having said that, it's amazing how you look forward to that kind of getting up in the day and starting your day that way and seeing the sun come up as you're singing the yeah. songs. And the drums forward. are rolling. Yes, the drums and the, the guitar and the music is phenomenal. Francis made a statement recently, just, just this week, this past week, about touching the flesh of the poor, not being ashamed or afraid or embarrassed to touch the flesh of the poor because it's the flesh of Christ. Now, that's, oh, that's pretty... That is pretty profound. Profound. Absolutely. You know, touching the flesh of the poor, meaning, of course, you know what it means. You have done yeah. it. Mm -hmm. You know, not mm -hmm. being afraid to mm -hmm. let a mm -hmm. poor person really mm -hmm. touch you or you touch that person coming mm -hmm. into physical contact in the physical contact yeah. and speaking mm -hmm. with and engaging mm -hmm. with a poor person without feeling that you have to be a super specialist exactly. or an expert or exactly. any of that exactly and he says that is Christ you know and that is your brother and your sister that you are touching mm -hmm. and that I found I reflected on that also in terms of you know what we do what we all do what we try to do every day in touching the wounds of the yes. poor as the wounds of Christ. You know.
Perhaps you can share some of these thoughts with our audience. Uh, my name is Melanie. And Melanie, I'm yes. From Father Michael McGivney. Yes. What grade? In grade 12. Grade 12, like the others. Yes. Mm -hmm. Also preparing to be missionary. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Yes. Um, so, as you mentioned, this is my second year here mm -hmm. in Jamaica. And um, what really brought me back was that last year when I was here, I felt like I had always meant to come. I, I was made to come on this trip, mm -hmm. and I felt like I this was the place I was meant to be in last year. Mm -hmm. And coming back the second year, I knew that it would be a different experience, and I came with an open mind ready to see what God would teach me next. And mm -hmm. I came um, trying to listen closely to His voice. And every day, um, I tell myself that it can't get any better. Hmm. that my trip cannot get any better. <laughs> yeah. But every day it gets so much better and mm -hmm. every day I learn something new and every day my eyes are opened even wider to just the immensity of God's love for us. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I see this in the children and I'm so humbled by having this opportunity coming on this trip and being able to um, work with the poor and um, work alongside the brothers, and I'm so humbled by every single thing I've done here on Good this mission. Many. Excellent. My name's Jesse. Jesse. Um, mm -hmm. I'm a grade 11 student from Father Michael McGivney. Oh, you're from McGivney also. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is my first mission trip. Mm -hmm. um, it's my first time to Jamaica as well. I felt really nervous because I kept thinking, like, all I, all I wanted to do when I came down here was to give, you know, the residents everything I had. I wanted to give... Um, freely of myself to them and I was nervous and I felt lost because I I wasn't sure I knew how to do that mm -hmm. but then when it when I came here and the first day of of working I was at Lord's place mm -hmm. and um, at first it was overwhelming because like I said I didn't really know how I could possibly give everything I wanted to give to these people mm -hmm. but um, I quickly learned with the help of the residents that, um, um, you know, you have to do little things with great love. Yes, as Blessed Teresa says, no? And, um, Small things with great love. Yeah, for sure. And, and I learned that pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, I, I mean, I've gotten so much more from the residents than I could have ever hoped to give to them. Mm -hmm. And uh, for, I'll always be blessed to have that experience here. I'm Danielle. I'm a teacher as well in at Markham, uh, Ontario. Yeah. Uh, not at the same high school. No, okay. a different okay. high school. All right. mm -hmm. um, so I joined with a friend who's friends with Christine as well. And um, I think this is doing a mission has always been something I've wanted to do. My mm -hmm. sister has been on uh, missions and I've always admired her for that. And the opportunity arose and... Um, I had no idea. I just thought I'll just come and I'm sure it'll be wonderful and saw some videos and photos and like everyone else said here, it's hard for me yeah, to I've even... Been disappointed. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> Obviously, I can't even get some words out. I'm going to cry. That's how, <laughs> how um, astounded and um, it's hard for me. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it surpassed all my expectations. Um, not even personally but just um, from what and I know if it's been said a few times but what I have received back what I've been given from mm -hmm. my life I mean the few things that I've done um, the, the most simplest things mm -hmm. um, singing to the residents lotion mm -hmm. again mm -hmm. which was the most it's humbling. the miracle of Christ it is a miracle yeah of Christ. has been absolutely yeah, wonderful yeah. and reaffirmed mm -hmm. Not just my faith. He just multiplies. He just yeah. amplifies. He yeah, just it's it's amazing. Yeah. It's an energy. Mm -hmm. It's a mm -hmm. um, that you can't. I've never. I don't think I've experienced it before. Mm -hmm. So um, mm -hmm. to be able to take that to live my life and now to to now seek that out again in the future and as a teacher to be able to share that and bring that back with my students mm -hmm. um, is priceless. And I can't wait to get home and share this with mm -hmm. my students. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my name is Efsha. I'm from Toronto, Canada. Yes. And I'm here with my daughter Samiha. But I thank Christine okay. Gomes mm -hmm. for and God for yes. <laughs> getting me here. And yes. uh, I'll keep it uh, sweet and short. Your first trip? My first trip, mm -hmm. yes. And it's been miraculous. 
mm -hmm. and profound. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's not even really words, but it's about a human connection. Mm -hmm. And I think that's been spoken about, and this connection with the residents, the connection with the brothers too. Mm -hmm. And it's so inspiring to see what they do. We're here for a few days, and they are here doing this day in and day out. And the piece of prayer and the discipline of prayer, the four times in the rosary, which makes it, I think, five times a day, mm -hmm. is beautiful. And I think it's really inspiring to see that and how that sustains them to be able to do the work. I think Mila mentioned that earlier, too. But what's also so beautiful is that we, t we become naked. We take down all our guards and barriers. Mm -hmm. We touch. And even our group that we're staying together then become so allow ourselves to become connected to each other, where mm -hmm. we wouldn't necessarily do that at home. Mm -hmm. We keep a guard, we keep mm -hmm. a wall up, mm -hmm. and we keep a distance. Mm -hmm. And the residents teach us that, and it's been said by the children and other people, they just love us unconditionally and openly, mm -hmm. and they teach us to do that with even each other. So to me, that's really miraculous and profound. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much for opening your home here. Thank you. It's a pilgrimage, you know. It's a pilgrimage in yes, the truth. Yes, it's a pilgrimage, yes. You know, in the love, all the, all the yeah. great gifts of God. All the beautiful is. virtues of yes, gratitude yes. and mindfulness mm -hmm. and intention. Mm -hmm. And to do things with intention. Mm -hmm. And then, as Mother Teresa says, all the small, do the small yeah. tasks with great, great love. love yes. Intention yes. changes the mundane mm -hmm. tasks into miracle, mm -hmm. miraculous mm -hmm. tasks, right? Yes. So yes, yes. I think... Yes. Jamaica and all the missionaries of the poor for the opportunity for us to have that. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, yes, we have all been changed, you know. We have all been changed by the poor, by Christ himself, you know. We have all tried to answer his call. And it's a, it's a journey. It's a constant thing, you know. The brothers don't have it all together. Huh? We're all human. We all have our faults and our failings and our limitations. And you help us. You do help us when you come and you share your lives with us. And we are impressed by your sacrifice too. Leaving, as I said, you know, the, well, it's a wilderness in one way. It's also a paradise in another way of North America, you know, and all that you have up there. And, you know, and you humbly say, well, we need more. We need to share what we have, but we need to also receive what we have to give you, Jamaica, the poor in Jamaica. And we are, we are privileged to share it with you. You know, it really is a privilege to share the little we have with, with you. And it, it really is a, a joy and a, and a and a great, great delight. And um, thanks for being on this program, for sharing your, your experiences with your encounters with us. Any last yeah. words, Mila, you'd like to say? I guess the last words I would say is, and, and again, I think in wrapping around, summarizing what people have said, that it's about love and human co connection and mm -hmm. attachment, mm -hmm. and that it's, it's mutually beneficial in terms of you give the little bit that you feel like you can give and you get so much back mm -hmm. and it's worth it and if you're scared and you're doubtful it is so worth coming mm -hmm. and you don't know what awaits you but it's certainly a precious gift mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. great mm -hmm. and what about you um, I would just like to thank the Missionaries of the Poor for mm -hmm. opening our homes to us for your all hospitality. Mm -hmm. And I would just like to thank God for giving me such a huge family here in Jamaica, mm -hmm. one that I would not expect, and definitely showing me that this is what I'm meant to do for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, as a doctor. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a missionary. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. Yes. Thank you, Simran. And Alexandra? I think my final words would be, God is love. Mm -hmm. And when you love, you see God mm -hmm. and it's just such a beautiful thing and I hope that everyone can experience this at least once mm -hmm. or more, most likely more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And yeah. His love is, his love is boundless. Yes. And we need it. We need it for our daily lives and for all the rest mm -hmm. of our lives. So it has to be something that is more and increases and and changes and we become better people, you know. And I'm, I'm sure you become a better teacher and a better psychologist. Oh, without a home. doubt, absolutely. Yes. And a mother to Emily. Yes, I, <laughs> I hope, yes, absolutely, yes, I hope yes. so. You're wonderful people and we're happy to have you and to share our lives with you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for being with us on the program, The Church of the Poor. God bless you. Peace be with you, my friends, in Jesus' blessings and peace. The Father and the Son, with the Spirit, we are one. We greet each other in peace. Oh yes, it's peace be with you, my friends. In Jesus.
Jesus blessings and peace Everybody. With the Father and the Son With the Spirit we are one We greet each other in peace Let me tell you now 